Marvel Hero Clicks Secret Wars Battle World 1872 figures coming right up. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the ROC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has a winning role for all your gaming needs. You can visit them at LuckyDiceCafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Alright guys, so it's another video doing a preview of figures that I was able to pull in my venues. Secret Wars Battle World Hero Clicks event. Uh, so today we're taking a look at the Marvel 1872 figures that I was able to pull or... Uh, better known as the Battle World the Valley keyword. Uh, so the figures we're taking a look at today are Crossbones, Red Wolf, and Iron Man. So let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. All right, so up first we have number 004 in the set, Crossbones. He has the Battle World the Valley, Past, and Soldier keywords. He has one trait that it seems like pretty much all the characters with the uh, Battle World the Valley keyword have, which is Showdown. When Crossbones makes an attack and hits all targets, after resolution roll a d6, 5 or 6, remove an action token from Crossbones. So really cool there, and then other than that, he's got a standard assortment of power, so let's see what his uh, dial and pointage looks like. Alright, so here we are looking at his dial. Uh, looks like he is 40 points, and 40 points gets you a 6 range single target. 7 movement with sidestep, 10 attack with energy explosion, 17 defense, energy shield deflection, and 2 damage with enhancement. Overall, not terrible. Uh, not great either, but for only 40 points, uh, this guy's pretty solid, and I think it's just fun to get these alt versions of our regular characters anyway. Uh, so, he's he's cool in my book. Alright, next up we have number 39 in the set, Red Wolf. He has the Battle World, the Valley, and past keywords. He has Improve Movement, Ignores Hindering. He has that showdown trait, which is exactly the same as what Crossbones just had. And he has a special on his defense. Special on his defense called Doing What's Right. Willpower, Toughness. When an adjacent friendly character is hit with an attack, you may choose to modify the attacker's damage minus one. If you do, after resolution, deal Red Wolf one unavoidable damage. Um, so he's kind of trying to take one for the team there. Uh, depending on you know who, he is, who it is that he's trying to protect, uh, could be uh, pretty important there that he take one and not somebody else. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. So here we are looking at his dial. Apparently it's 50 points. He gets a 5 range single target, has an 8 movement with stealth, which that improved hindering will really help with. Uh, then he has a 10 attack with precision strike, 17 defense with that special, and 2 damage with prob. Uh, prob control is always good. Uh, that, you know, taking one damage to himself could be important depending on what's going on. And he's got willpower. So uh, pretty cool there. Uh, just overall, pretty solid little figure. Not keyword rich, but still cool. And I just, I like the sculpt with the tomahawk and the, the lasso and whatnot. So I, I will be excited to just try to play him just for fun. All right, and last up in this preview is Iron Man, number 38 in the set. And let me just say, I feel like this sculpt is off the chain. He's got his little flamethrower. He's got the smoke coming out of the stacks on the steam pirate suit. Got his little Gatlin gun. I just, this sculpt, I couldn't believe it when I pulled it, how awesome the sculpt was for Rare. So good job, WizKids. Um, really impressed with this one. Hopefully you guys keep up that good work. Uh, but he has a Battle World, the Valley, Armor, Past, and Scientist Keywords. You guys know how much I like the scientist keyword, so he's already a winner in my book. He has that showdown trait, which it seems that all the Valley keyword figures have. And then he's got a special on his attack called Clearing Out the Gang to get to the boss. Quake, when Iron Man uses it after resolution, if there is no opposing characters adjacent to him, he may make a ranged attack, but only to target a character he has not attacked this turn. So pretty cool there. Uh, we're going to flip this over and I'll explain to you how that power is going to work. All right, so Iron Man is 80 points. Looks like 80 points gets you a four range single target, eight movement with charge, 11 attack with that special, 18 defense with impervious, and four damage. So basically what you're going to do with this guy is you're going to charge him in there, you're going to quake, knock everybody back, and then get to uh, attack somebody that maybe would have been out of range before. So it sort of gives you pseudo running shot and charge where you get to use both as long as you hit with your initial charge so really cool there for 80 points he's he's cool um probably not the best 80 points to spend on like a competitive team but he's really cool i think with that red wolf we previewed to be uh, pretty neat 
uh, you know, considering like if a character did three damage and then you'd take one to Red Wolf uh, to make it so that his Impervious just uh, reduces the two damage. So that's uh, a way I could see using Red Wolf there. But overall, just a really cool figure. Um, I like him a lot. The sculpt's awesome alone. So you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite figure was uh, out of this little grouping. Make sure to check back for my other Battle World previews. And that's all I have for you guys today. As always, please remember to zone a critical miss if you don't have probability control.